Starting my podcast a little over a year ago was one of the single best decisions that I've made in my life. The podcast is small and it's in a relatively niche area, but the things that I've learned along the way have helped me to grow professionally and personally in ways that I could not have fathomed. Even if speaking into a microphone is something that you could never see yourself doing, these are the reasons that I think everyone should start a podcast, even you. I consider myself a pretty good conversationalist. I generally enjoy meeting new people and learning about them. If I go to a bar or a party, I'm generally pretty comfortable making small talk or even taking it a step further to get to know people. Pretty soon after I started my podcast, where I interview a new guest each episode, I realized that I really had a long way to go to truly connect with people. I also realized quickly that I wasn't nearly as smooth as I thought I was. At first, editing the episodes where I had to watch myself stumble over words in 4K was pretty brutal. There are so many cringeworthy moments that I've just tried to erase from my memory. However, after about 10 episodes, something magical happened. First, I found myself having fewer awkward moments. Second, I was getting used to listening to myself speak. Once I got used to hearing myself, I was able to be honest about how I could improve my communication skills. I was able to start asking better questions, leading conversations, and I was actually able to listen instead of waiting for a time that I could just say what was on my mind. I started to see these improved communication skills start to bleed over into my personal life, my work relationships, and even my day-to-day -day interactions. Why did I do that? That was such a dumb idea. Podcasting forces you to create a a feedback loop to truly focus on how you communicate with other people. It's crazy to say, but I don't think that there's a better way to work on this communication skill than starting a podcast. A byproduct of improving your communication skills is that you actually start to connect with people more. You have less of the same meaningless small talk conversations that you just repeat over and over again. Crazy weather we're having, how was your weekend? You know, things like that. If you have a guest on your podcast, you're forced to sit down uninterrupted with another person. If you want that podcast to be interesting or any good, you're not gonna just ask them the same old boring questions. You're gonna focus on asking deep and meaningful things that help you to understand who they are what their motivations are, and what their aspirations are. I love that I get to have these meaningful conversations like this more than once a week. I find that I learn so much about each individual person's story. I also can bounce ideas, incomplete thoughts, or experiences off of someone who has completely different experiences than I have. I believe that it's healthy for humans to have these rich and vibrant conversations like this routinely. With emails, with Slack, with text, with Instagram, with Twitter, it's so easy to feel like you know someone just because you've been sending them memes every day for the last three years. After having many conversations that I consider to be deeper, I started to realize how distant I felt from many of the people in my life that I have interacted with regularly, but on these different mediums that were kind of shallow. Before podcasting, I could probably count on my fingers and toes the number of rich and meaningful conversations that I've had over the last five years. For me, creating a podcast allowed me to bake in time into my schedule to truly connect with people. During the pandemic, at least for me, I felt very lonely a lot of the time. The world changed and with it, many routine social interactions became difficult. Fortunately, through weekly conversations with my podcast guests, over the last year, I was able to make more meaningful and lasting relationships than I probably made in the previous four or five years combined, even when the world was open. Something pretty special happens when you bring a guest in and you ask them about their life over the course of an hour. If you talk for this extended period of time with someone, you're also very likely to find at least a few things that you have in common with them. If you have things in common with people, it's pretty easy to become friends with them. In my mind, making friends has some incredible benefits as well. Someone to talk to, to share experiences with, to get feedback on ideas from. Friends can also help you professionally. Making friends is the most basic form of what people consider networking. To me, the modern version of networking is transactional. Building relationships through common ground and through communication, on the other hand, is something that will carry you very, very far. In my mind, this is one of the huge benefits of what a podcast does. You're able to create relationships that could very well help you professionally down the road. The nice thing is, when you have a podcast, you could very well help the other person out professionally as well. They're getting publicity out of this. They're getting conversation about who they are. They're getting viewership. If we did want to talk about more traditional networking, a podcast gives you one of the most valuable tools available. With a podcast, you have a reason to talk to almost anyone that you can think of. I can reach out to authors, to scientists, to other people that inspire me to have a conversation with me on my podcast. I have access to these people through a more professional medium. Is my favorite author more likely to respond to my email if I'm just asking him to spend an hour talking with me to learn? or if I have a podcast where I can learn and many others can also grow their wisdom too. Even better, many of my guests will refer me to their friends who are incredibly interesting as well. These are people that I didn't even know that I wanted to meet. Part of this professional growth could also be in the form of revenue. Although it's fairly uncommon, 
creating a podcast could turn into a side hustle or even a career. I generally don't recommend people to start a podcast or create content just for the financial side though. The people that make it have to be extremely dedicated and they usually don't get into it initially for that financial side. While professional growth is incredible, if you're familiar with my content, you know that I've placed an even larger premium on personal growth. Honestly, podcasting has been one of the most effective ways for me to grow my understanding of myself. Think of it this way. Every deep conversation that I have with another person, I'm forced to reevaluate my beliefs about them, the subject area that we're talking about, and even my own experiences. I also have to quickly articulate my feelings or my beliefs on the topic at hand. Doing this regularly has helped me to better understand who I am, what my values are, and why I believe or feel the way about things that I do. You might be thinking, okay, I'm an introvert. Running a podcast isn't for me. Well, I definitely wouldn't consider myself an introvert. Quite a few introverts I know have podcasts. They find that podcasting is a great way to control an interaction rather rather than be controlled by it. I think that this concept is very powerful to begin with. From what I understand, what drains many people during social interactions is the unpredictability. Podcasting, even some forms of public speaking, gives you the chance to prepare and to manage how you want your interactions to go. If you're uncomfortable talking with people in general, I actually think a podcast is one of the best ways that you can build these interactions into your life and have a lot of control over them. So do I really think everyone should start a podcast? Yes, I actually do, it's, it's in the title. <laughs> However, just because you start a podcast doesn't mean that you have to release it publicly. You can keep these conversations to yourself and have great documentation of your relationships and your personal growth over time. You still get many of the personal improvement benefits and the connection to others. You would just miss out on some of the professional growth aspects and kind of the potential for revenue or turning this into a business, which is totally fine. I wanted to make this video because podcasting has been one of the most meaningful and consistent experiences that I've had over the last few years, especially during the pandemic. And I hope that sharing this benefits and encourages you to explore it on your own. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on, you know, your potential podcasting journey.